Okay guys, uh, we are at the World of Concrete 2015 and we're just getting ready to uh, lay out our, our, uh, our piece here. And what we did, uh, just as I uh, showed in the pictures uh, leading up to this, uh, we had a tarp. We laid out our tarp in the warehouse and um, we basically uh, positioned everything out on and marked it with marking paint. That way when we did get here, not only could we protect the area, but we could also uh, lay everything down in a timely fashion. So one of the things that uh, we're working with is uh, this centerpiece here, which is with this our, our uh, center rock, our balanced rock. And what we've done is we've taken this uh, two bearings, uh, this top bearing and this bottom bearing, and put some Schedule 40 in there and welded that together. In the bottom bearing, we've, we've actually welded a, a, a washer to this uh, steel rod, and, uh, this cold rolled rod right here, and that su is supported on the bottom bearing. And then on the top bearing, we've got this spacer unit right here that will, uh, that will hold uh, weight as well. Then what, what we've done is gone through and, and uh, siliconed both the top and the bottom of these uh, pieces to keep uh, water or mud from leaking into that uh, that bearing. This whole piece right here will be leveled with our level and our framing square and we'll get that totally plumb and then we're going to anchor it down into the asphalt with these uh, anchors and that will give us a nice uh, support structure. Then uh, when we get our seat wall system put in place we've got a cavity that will actually pour the concrete into and all of this will be encased with concrete right up to the top of our ridge right here. So our seat wall will actually come flush right to that wall. And that'll give us a nice little area in here, free and clear uh, of material. We'll protect this with plastic, and then our, our other rock will sheath on top. The rock that's gonna be sheathed on top is gonna be right here. We've got basically the rock split in two. We've got a, a bottom piece and a top piece. What I've done is I've drafted the bigger piece to fit this uh, metal kite, so to speak. And that's also a piece of steel. And uh, that will be, it's hollow, so it will slide perfectly right on top of our, our cold rolled steel here. So we're gonna get some structure coat. We're gonna embed this completely in here. And once that's locked and solid in place, that'll disperse a lot of the weight of the rock. Now I'm not gonna get real heavy with this rock. I'm gonna try to keep it pretty light, but it's just gonna be a better system you don't want to really have just the steel touching the, the foam because it's not enough support. That foam will move back and forth and create a, 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 a space in there because it'll just crush the foam. However, if there's a lot of material in there, that leaves a lot more contact to the foam and it's going to be very difficult for that to, to collapse on us. Once that's finished, then we'll take the rock, we'll laminate that rock right back on top of this, uh, this bottom rock and then we'll be able to tilt it up and drop it onto our seat. So that's the process we're going to do now. Right now what we're going to do is we're going to embed this structure coat right into this piece right here and get that nice and level and straight. And then when that sets up, we're going to be moving forward. trial he could use one of those trials to kind of float that out and get it nice and splat okay what we've accomplished so far is we've 
gotten our bearing uh, bolted to the ground and leveled out, so we're perfectly level. We're coming up through our middle piece. We've got our center pieces uh, connected. We've got the two bases on the bottom and then the double piece that's wedged up here. Yes, sir. We're going to put these, uh, these end pieces on that extend out past, which will be our little flower, uh, our little flower uh, pot areas. And then our next step is to pour some material and kind of set all this in here in place, get that locked in. So the, the critical part or the hard part of our project is almost over, getting this thing level plumb and get the material floated up into there. That's almost finished. And uh, we're about ready to start moving forward with our seat walls. Boy, that's gonna look good. Oh, oh splitting. <laughs> okay. All right, we saved it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, when you pour, you want to make sure that you got enough support and strength on your foam so you don't split it like we did. But that's okay. We got some counterweight on it. We're pushing the envelope, but I think we're going to be all right. Okay, we're putting down the first, or gluing down the first pieces. Now we have to, we have to basically wait for this to set up. Um, the adhesive that we're using is just a standard spray adhesive that we got from. Uh, <laughs> Menards, which is, let's see what we got here, uh, polystyrene, foam, or, uh, polystyrene foam insulation 78, fast drying, uh, it says it bonds the most insulation, and that's what we're using today. So uh, in other uh, pieces, I've used the foam to foam, and that pretty much cures out in 10 minutes, which is also excellent. I didn't have enough of that on hand. But that can also be used. So right now we're just putting down these first pieces and you can see we have not removed any of our wedges yet but uh, we're just gonna wait till this kind of sets up and tacks up a little bit before we start really curving it and then we'll start to put our our pieces into play. We're all perfectly plumb and level I mean really right on the money and uh, two bags was perfect amount uh, to set inside of there and so that should be uh, really really good. Okay, the next step we're going to do is with this particular serpentine uh, piece is we're going to remove the one side that we're going to treat the curve to and then just use the exact same piece, uh, piece as a fortifying uh, piece to the other side. And what that does is just kind of alleviates the pressure and we'll just piece by piece just kind of conform it all the way through and uh, we'll just, you know, follow the, the floor plan that we set up earlier and uh, it should work out perfectly. Yeah, you don't want it to flip around if it's if it rests gently on the ground the way it should be that it just should be pretty good
And that's how easy it is just to get a simple curve out of a, out of a simple piece. Shouldn't be any harder than that, fellas. And that's pretty basic, pretty simple. And, uh, you know, that's, that's exactly how it should go. Shouldn't be any harder than that. No special cuts. Should just lay right in there perfectly, just like that. We're ready for our second piece. Okay. Uh, we took a lunch, and our piece is setting up nice. The material is... Uh, it's pretty stiff, and what we're going to do now is we're going to spray it down with some glue and laminate that piece right back on top of there so we're ready for, uh, ready for that piece to be finished. Our other uh, piece is setting up really nice, nice and firm, and uh, the glue is setting up. We've got a couple more pieces that we're getting ready to, to put together just to uh, get some of that out of the way. Our big push uh, will come. Uh, in the in the uh, Monday morning after we have our meeting, so we're just all this is all real preparatory. We could have actually could have finished the entire project today. Uh, we're actually just taking our time, but this is uh, just a couple more pieces that we're going to put together for preparation for tomorrow, and then we will move forward.